Welcome back. Check this on here. Sorry about this crusty, musty hair. It's what the beach hair. Speaking of beach, had a little dip at Metam's pool. Blonde hair is just giving damage every single time. Bruh. Pardon. For this video, I will be reviewing boots from ASOS, particularly cowboy boots. I have never Bruh. owned a pair, so I decided it's about time for me to have some in my wardrobe. I got two, one in black and one in brown. I have big calves and it's pretty Bruh. hard to pick out cowboy boots or any type of boots online. It's pretty hard to shop for them if you have big, muscly calves. Bruh. And I never really trusted these websites that says wide fit. Even if it says wide fit, it's not really wide enough for my calves. I probably own three pairs of boots right now. They're not cowboy boots. I got them from Steve Madden. I think they're all Steve Madden. Whitner and Steve Madden. They usually have really good leather boots, so I only trust those brands. They're not overpriced and they're good quality. These boots that I got are just fucking amazing. When I opened the box, I just fell in love. And that is an understatement. I've been looking for recent cowboy boots and these are the first designs that I've ever fallen in love with. Literally love at first sight. So I got one in brown and I got one in washed up black or gray. These are the brown ones. Bruh. This is like a statement boot. What? 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 It's giving Miley Cyrus. The fire design. What do you call this? Whatever part this is. It is snakeskin. Wild. I know. The detail on this thing. And it's wide enough. Talking about. It just fits. Skinny bitches would fit this nicely because they'd have a slight bit of space and they could probably wear pants with these, but I probably can't probably wear this with dresses because it just fits, if you get what I mean. But anyway, I'll try it on for you. I know it doesn't match the outfit today because I'm in a bikini, but I'll show you anyway how it fits. Don't really have enough space for me to like stand around with bed. So I'll just show you like from here. Do you get what I mean? How cute is that? And I have big calves. I, that's, that's all calf right there. And doesn't even have a space anymore because I have such big calves. I love the stiletto as well. It just looks like a bit more feminine than your regular cowboy boot. And it has that pointy toe. Such good quality. Fuck. I was so happy when I saw it because it's in a nice color. It doesn't look like a cheap brown leather color and it would go with a lot of clothes, man. Trust me. A white tank top, denim shorts. I'm fumbling my words, sorry. Just excited about these boots. It's fucking amazing. It has that sn snake skin toe as well. Can you see it? Can you see it? I know, the detailing is crazy. How can I show you the cut? This is the cut. That's what makes it cowboy. But yeah, bruh, can't get over it. This is a Europe size 39. They go in European sizes and it's perfect for an Australian size eight. So if you're gonna shop in ASOS, get a size 39. That would be perfect, size eight. I'm ready to go on my first rodeo. Joke's probably not. Someone's calling me. I'm just too busy for this. I can't. Bruh. Anyway, can't wait to show you the other one. Fuck, it's so hard to take it off because I'm sweaty. If you're gonna wear these boots around, probably wear some stockings underneath it or just some socks so it's easier to remove because that is a struggle and a half. Bruh. I'm busy. I can't wait for it, I swear. How am I looking? Looking like crap. Bruh. I'll probably just do that. Does that look better? 
I hate that it looks so dry. I've been contemplating to color my hair, but I don't know if I should do it tonight. I know that it's gonna take a while. I think that's what I'm trying to avoid, just the work of coloring my hair and the time that I have to spend doing it. That's why I haven't done it. But trust me, I really want to fucking change my hair to black already. Brother, uh, what's that? What's that, brother? Bruh. Mad. Madness. This is the second pair. This is the first one that I saw before that brown one. But thank God I saw that brown one because that's fucking amazing. The brand is called Daisy Street. Hashtag Daisy Street. Daisy Street Co. UK. Oh, bruh. This is fire as well. Ready? As this buckle. This is what sold it for me. I used to have a belt that has this design, but I left it in Melbourne. Along with all of my other stuff. Look at the detailing. So it has that eagle embossed Bruh. on the leather. And again, this fits in calf. I'll show you how it fits. I was gagging. <laughs> I was gagging when I saw this. I was like, ah, it's so nice. I was so excited when I opened it. I was like, <gasps> see, see what I mean about big calves? Bruh. This fits like a glove. Then again, I don't even struggle to get in it. Look. Bam fucking slides in there it's also a stiletto cowboy boot sorry i can't really show you guys how it looks like from the front properly but do you get what i mean it doesn't have a space that eagle detailing on the side pointy toe is very Cowboy. That's what you're looking for in a cowboy boots. That's how you can differentiate that it's cowboy style. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a straight cut leather boot. But that's a cowboy boot. It's not overly pricey. I've looked at proper websites that sell real leather cowboy boots and man, they go for money. Probably need to spend at least $250 to get a proper cowboy boot. Be good to support them though, because they're probably handmade. These men. These are good enough. For us people on a budget. How fucking nice. I can't wear to wear that. With short gray denim skirt, gray fitted tank top, like a halter top. With some graphics on it. Yeah, I'm a sucker for some shoes and clothes. Which I should probably fucking stop because I barely wear them anyway. I'm always away for work. Please don't try on your boots when you're sweaty because they're hard to remove. Again, it's made from China. I'm sure this is not gonna last. Everything's made from China, so I shouldn't probably judge this boot. I'm guessing it wouldn't last as long as a handmade cowboy leather boot. I got this, a 39 European size. So if you're an Australian 8 in women's, get a 39 EU on ASOS. Like a fitting guide there anyway. Make your life a lot easier. Man. To be fair, this looked better in the picture than in person, but the brown one, the brown one looks better a lot in person than on the pictures looked a bit dead on the pictures if i'm gonna be honest i can't wait to wear them i bought cowboy boots as one a rock of miley cyrus look when she was still doing party in the usa j-lo vibe in denim jeans cowboy boot and a white tank top <laughs> so yeah that don't be scared to be buying boots from ASOS. It's wide enough because I really have big calves. I get so much hate about it. I'm short. I'm a girl and I have such big calves. Sometimes I have bigger calves than my guy friends. Just imagine. But that's where I'm at. Can't tell you what particular design this is, but I guess if you like put snakeskin, brown, high knee, western boots, probably find the same boots that I got. Or if you want to find the other one, it's called Daisy Street. UK. So I guess that's the end of my video. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you on my next review.